Hi lovelies, today I am blanching vegetables. So I have my vegetables here. This is garden egg leaves, also known as a fogbagba over here in Nigeria. I also have a foshoko. I really don't know the English name of this vegetable. If you do, please share with me in the comment section, right? Next, I have the green vegetable, also known to be a fortete. And these are the three vegetables I will be blanching together today. So now the vegetables have been properly washed and nicely cleaned. I have them all here in batches. I have the fogbagba garden egg leaves, garden egg vegetables. They are so very good and so nutritious. I also have the shokoyokoto. That's what this leaf is known to be. It is so sweet, so delicious type of vegetable. And next, this is green vegetable. You all know I love my vegetables to have stem. When they have that um, soft and tender stem, I love it so much. Right now, I grab my pot. This is the biggest pot I have in my home right now. And I will go ahead to add the vegetables into the pot. I will not be slicing this first. And of course, you can slice it if you want to. But this is how I will be doing this today. And that is because the vegetables are much. And I don't want to do it in two batches. I just wanted everything to come along all at once. That is why I am not slicing them. I will just be adding it into the pot just like this and I will cover it and I'm going to place this on the heat to steam up. There are several ways to blanch vegetable. You can either do it this way or you can do it the other way by adding a little bit of water to it. It's also accepted. But this is my favorite way. And this was five minutes later. Look at vegetables. They are all nicely weighted. And right now I will just go ahead to flip it, to turn it over and just to combine it to make sure every part of the vegetable is nicely weighted. And once that is done, I will just take it off the heat and let it cool down before I will go ahead to slice them up. You know, it is hot and I cannot undo it right now. If today is your first time here, a very warm welcome to you. And before you leave, make sure you click the subscribe button to be part of the family. And also, don't forget to hit the notification bell. This will allow you to be among the very first to get notified each time I upload a new video. So now the vegetables have cooled down and I'll go ahead to grab my chopping board and I'll just begin to slice the vegetables into my desired shapes. And to all my returning subscribers, I am so glad you always come back to watch. Thank you for always engaging in my videos. And don't forget to hit the like button and also share this video with your friends and family. Oh, I love it when my vegetables have stem. You see all those stems? I love them so much. Stems, or let me say vegetable stems, they are the most nutritious part of vegetables. And they carry all the flavors. I don't know why some people just don't like the stem. There are some says it's like stick. Why would it be like stick? Of course, this is so good. Now look at the vegetables, they are all nicely cut and sliced into uh, slices like this and it's packed with nutrients and flavors. And there you have it. This is how I blanch my vegetables and I can just store them right away into my Ziploc bag or I will just use them. You can store this into your Ziploc bags and just keep it in the freezer until the next time you want to use it 
and it's still going to be exactly the way it is right now. Look at all those nutrients packed into it. Nothing is waste. You all know I don't like to waste anything. Now that is done. And here we have it. Our blanched leafy vegetables. You can use them just the way I did with mine. I used this to make vegetable soup and it was so good. You can use this blanched vegetable for anything. You can add it into your porridge. You can use it for pasta. I use it for noodles. 